Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome in for 30 books in 30 weeks. Week 25 out of 30. I cannot believe we are 25 weeks into this thing and another two months into it from last year. Literally 25 weeks of ahas and takeaway moments from what's going to be 25 of the most impactful books that I could think of um, for living a reality-based life, for truly walking in your purpose. And what we're going to talk about for this week is walking in your genius, discovering your genius potential. Um, and I'm ex so excited about this week's book because it's written by a dear, dear friend of mine, um, a mentor, one of my personal advisors um you know when i when i talk to you guys about having that personal board of directors i would have to say the author of this book is the chairman of my personal board of directors um highly highly regarded highly respected just an incredible human being and so i'm excited to share with you um hey david what's going on um i'm excited to share with you guys the takeaways and the impact that this book has had on my life, my business, my happiness, the whole nine yards. So the book for this week, week 25, is called Genius Potential. It's by Dr. Will Moreland. Um, and so I'm excited to share that with you um, and the amazing impact that this book has had on me. What's going on, Gregory? Uh, for those of you who are coming in, uh, feel free to share the video out. If you're catching it on the replay, you're catching it on YouTube, mm -hmm. feel free to drop links. Um, invite some other folks into the conversation. If you're on here live, I'm not going to be on long, but I'm going to I'm gonna share with you an empowerful message that this book had on me. So we're going we're gonna to launch out the gate this week with this week's book, um, Power Packed. Uh, and so... For those of you who are coming in, maybe the first time you don't know me, you don't really know what this is about. This is a personal development journey that I started last year at the end of October um, to share. I committed to sharing things that have been impactful for me to live a reality-based life, to help my co my clients um, with, in, in a reality-based coaching environment, to help them and help myself be successful. And so I just decided, I just want to share the information. I want to share it out. So I'm sharing with you guys on these videos for the last 25 weeks okay. um, takeaways tips tools techniques strategies ahas um, transparent moments of transparency the whole nine yards so that you guys really get a feel for how important it is to live a reality based life and how you incorporate reality based living into your day to day how do you start bringing some of those skills in uh, my name is Marcy Batiste. I am the ultimate power coach. I am America's number one reality-based success and recovery trainer. I am sold out 100% to my happiness. I uh, live life on Mars. I operate in a space that involves my own rules and truly, truly allowing happiness to be my guide. Um, I love more than anything to be the spark that ignites the light for somebody else to discover and embrace their star power, to figure out what is their genius potential, what is their butterfly potential, what is it that moves them, what is it that soothes them, what is it that makes them keep going. Hey Pam, welcome back. So this week, Genius Potential by Dr. Will Moreland is... Um, so uh, real real quick, I met Dr. Moreland. I went to an event that he was doing on business branding. And I thought I was walking into this room with this stuffy old guy that was just going to tell me a bunch of stuff that I really already knew. And I was wowed, right? I was absolutely wowed. I walked out of the room with incredible takeaways that I could start impl implementing immediately in my, into my life and my business. And so that showed me something different than I had seen a lot of times in workshops for business building. And... This book was there at the event. He was, you know, he had his books there. And so I was like, well, I'm going to start here and then see, you know, if I like his book, then I'll, I'll see about, be out, see about coaching with him, see about training with him. And so I bought this book and I remembered I was flying out, um, to Dallas shortly, right at, right, like a couple days after that. And so I took the book with me to the airport and I'm sitting in the airport and I'm reading this book and I'm just like, you know, just a few pages in and I was already like, 
okay, this is going to really fit into my world. This is going to to teach me something. I'm going to be able to have some takeaways. Just like in his class, I was able to immediately take things out of this book. And so one of the things that I want to share with you guys was this book was one of the first times um, that I was I was already on kind of a, a, a self-discovery journey, a personal development journey when I was introduced to this book and the concepts in it. Um, but I wasn't really sure how to take it a little bit deeper. I wasn't really sure how to apply it in the here and the now. And so um, through that, I, I came upon this section and it's on, it starts on page 22 where he talks about the things that shape our beliefs, right? So the things that, that are, are, are impacting how we think. And so one of the things that I understand now that I didn't understand back then is how important our thoughts are on our emotions and our actions and then how those turn into behaviors and then those behaviors then reinforce certain thoughts. And so he talks about the environment. So how you grow up, where you grow up, who you grow up around being one of them. Who are your authority figures? And then he talks about repetitious information. What are you constantly being programmed? What are you constantly being told? What messages are being poured into you? And then the fourth thing he talks about as a belief shaper are your personal experiences. And so oftentimes what happens was this was this was huge for me back then because I hadn't really learned how to break down my past at that point. I was still new on this whole discovery journey. I was still new on this personal development journey at the time. And this is about six, six and a half years ago, six years ago, something like that. And I was like, never really broke down. Who were my authority figures? I never broke down, um, you know, what, what what was the environment like? What did I grow up with? What 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 were my beliefs? Where did those beliefs come from? How did I come to think the things that I thought? And certainly, how did I come to think the things that I thought about myself? Um, because for me, um, after being almost 400 pounds, you know, all this kind of stuff, going through trauma, domestic violence, one bad relationship after another, I realized I'm the common denominator. I got to start working on me, right? This was the this was the thing, you guys. This was the thing that said, you got to go all the way back. You can't start from here and now. You got to go back and figure out, you know, where did these tracks come from? Where did you where did you first learn the things that you think you now know? Like, was it something that was taught to you? Was it something that um, was 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 you know beat into you per se? Not literally. I'm speaking figuratively, of course. Um, but when he talks about um, the environment, like, you know, was it, what was around you? What kind of people were around you? You know, what kind of home did you grow up in? What kind of family did you grow up in? What was your rank in the family? You know, there's all these things that when I started thinking about just something that simple as my environment, how did my environment fit into how I thought? And so it was one of the, the, the biggest changes that I was able to make and like I said that's the one thing that I loved about this book it had things that made me think right away it had it gave me tools that I could begin to use immediately and that was if I if I've learned one of the biggest things um, in my years of working with dr. Will Moreland is that you you have to have clarity and you have to be intentional in your actions and you must 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 be honest with yourself, right? And 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 if if you're working with other individuals, you have to add value. You have to give them things that they can begin to implement. They have to start seeing results right away. People have attention spans that are about this long, and so they're only going to commit to a process where they're not seeing and discovering results right away for a very very short period of time. So you have to be uh like you got to get in there, give them some information that they can use, and then go from there. And that's what this book did for me. So Genius Potential is our book for week 25. Um, so those are the things, um, as you guys are thinking about, if, you know, if any of you are on personal discovery journeys, personal development journeys, um, those, are, those are five things, four or five things, that you can really implement immediately and begin to look at how these things manifest in your life. How do these things play out? And so I'll repeat them back for you. He says, your environment, what kind of environment are you in now? What kind of environment did you grow up in? Who are your authority figures? 
you know what what are you and what are you taking away from those authority figures what makes them authority figures you know I know for me anyway some people that I used to think were authority figures I no longer think that um, some of them I feel like I'm on peer with some of them I don't talk to at all some of them I have lost all respect for um, and so you have to constantly be evaluating your circle and evaluating the people that you have around you and I'm, I'm, I'm huge on that now like every six months I do that uh -huh. um, the third thing is the repetitious information what information are you constantly being fed either through your own self talk through people that you have in your circle um, materials that you're reading shows that you're watching um, well internet how you're using the internet all of that stuff becomes programming and all of it affects how you think whether you're aware of it or not and then the final thing is your personal experiences what have you been through what are the things that have um, become stumbling blocks for you what are the things that were roadblocks what are the things that are obstacles what are the things that move you what are the things that soothe your soul like you have to know those things the the, the things that have have had the biggest impact on you um, oftentimes are from the subconscious Like we don't often think about why we make some of the moves we make and make some of the decisions we make and so you have to get really clear on that you have to be really really intentional on this discovery process as you begin your personal development journey it doesn't just happen overnight you guys it doesn't happen overnight and that's one of the biggest things I tell my clients you know I'm, I'm huge on reality I'm huge on making sure that we're, we're in touch with reality like let's be clear let's be intentional but let's be honest about why we are where we are and stop blaming everybody else because at the end of the day once you're an adult you make your own choices you are not a product of your a victim of your circumstances anymore you are absolutely 100 percent a product of your choices so if you're miserable it's a choice if you're happy it's a choice if you're in a bad situation it's a choice now i'm not suggesting that you're in a bad situation you can get out of it overnight maybe not but there are things you can do to move you day by day moment by moment into better circumstance right so i'm super excited this week you guys i don't know if you can tell but i'm excited to share with you Genius Potential, week 25 out of 30 books in 30 weeks. So stay tuned tomorrow for another aha, another takeaway, another genius moment from this wonderful book here. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have an amazing night, guys. As always, thanks for living life on Mars and welcome to the Ultimate Power Team. I'm glad you're here.